Give him praise to the Creator. Heavenly Father God, Yah. Thank you for letting us see another day. And this is concerning Torah. And this is how we deal on a daily basis for people who have animals or ox, namely, where it speaks about how you will bore a man, how we must deal with that situation. It says Exodus 21 and 28 through 31. It says, if an ox bore a man or a woman that they die, then the ox shall he surely stone, and his flesh shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall be quick. But if the ox were wont to push with his horn in time past, and it have been testified to his owner, and he have not kept him in, but that he have killed a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned, and its owner also shall be put to death. Exodus 21 and 30 says, If there be laid on him a sum of money, then he shall give for the ransom of his life whatsoever is laid upon him. Verse 31 said, Whether he have bore the son or have bore the daughter, according to his judgment shall it be done unto him. So according to the law, we see that if an a ox bores a man and end up killing him, that the ox shall be stoned. And not only that, that it cannot be eaten after it's being killed. You know what I'm saying? So Genesis 9 and 5, it said, Assuredly, your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it. And at the hand of every man, the hands of every man's brother, will I require the life of men. Verse 6, it says, Whoso shed man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God may he man. Leviticus, well, we basically dealing with the situation when we're talking about uh, an animal that will kill a human being must be stoned to death. And once that animal is killed, he cannot be eaten, no matter what. Not only that, but if the owner did not keep him in the barn and he so happened to be up in the fields and end up killing a person, the owner can be killed. But he said that if there be laid on him a sum of money, then he shall give for the ransom of his life whatsoever is laid upon him. So it says that the man can give money in order for his life to be spared. And this is what we see according to the law. Now, we have laws where it talks about bestiality when we got people that sleep with animals. The law stipulates in Leviticus 20, 15, and 16, it says, And if a man lies with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and he shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Exodus 22 and 19. And Leviticus 18 and 23, whosoever lies with a beast shall surely be put to death. Not, uh, Leviticus 18 and 23, neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself. Therewith neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too. It is confusing. Deuteronomy 27 and 21, Cursed be he that lieth with any manner of beast, and all the people shall say, say lie. So we know according to the law, we see that we dealing with animals that's killing humans, that they shall be stoned and cannot be eaten after they've been killed. A man can give money 
in order to save his life. But he said, if the man let the animal out of the, the barn, and he be in the fields, and he end up killing the person, the owner should be put to death. And this is according to the law. Now, I understand that this is what we cannot do. And now there is time due to the fact that Israel is in captivity. But this is what we do once we in the land, that then we will, you know what I'm saying, bring judgment upon men and beasts that will kill another individual. So this is what we need to know and understand. So these, these are the law, laws given from the Creator to Israel in order for us to know that if I was born as a man or a woman, a son of water, that animal must be stoned. If the owner kept him out and he ended up killing somebody, the owner can be killed along with the animal. But he can't give money in order for a ransom of his soul to be saved. So not only that, we see in the Lakers 20, 15, and 16, the, uh, Exodus 22 and 19, and, and Leviticus 18 and 23, as well as Deuteronomy 27 and 21, that humans cannot sleep with animals. So the law that they got passed around in certain states where you are allowed to marry an you know, uh, animal like your dog, and your cat that goes against the laws of the creator and this is what we need to understand that Yah says is confusion and Deuteronomy 27 and 21 so these are the laws which Israel must abide by once in the land and in return from our captivity that we will be acknowledging all right Say, say, Lord, give and praise and blessing for the most high the creator to understand me and the uh, knowledge and wisdom of his word. And peace and blessings to brothers and sisters out there who's trying to learn and keep the laws according to the laws and the testimony of the creator. Peace and blessings. I want to say shalom.